All right, that was three Honeycrisp apples that I cut up. Next, I'm coming in with my old fashioned oats and we're gonna put this entire container of oats in our crock pot with our Granny Smith apples. This is such an easy and delicious breakfast. The next thing we're coming in with is some whole milk, but you can use whatever milk preference you like. And we're gonna add three cups, three and a half cups of our whole milk. Oh my goodness, this is so good, so easy. It's a little bit on the healthy side and it's gonna taste amazing on a cold fall morning. All right, so that is about three and a half cups. Now I'm gonna bring in my applesauce. This is the unsweetened applesauce. You can use the sweetened if you want it a little bit sweeter, but we're gonna add about a cup of this, which is gonna be half of this container. Yeah, that looks about right. Yummy. And then this is where we're bringing in our sweetness, just a little bit of natural honey, you know, the, the good sugars. And we're just gonna do a light drizzle right on top of our entire crock pot. If you don't like honey, you can totally skip this. You can add a little bit of brown sugar. You can add some maple syrup, but I personally like honey with this one. You know, honey is a superfood. Exactly, that's why it's a little bit healthy. All right, we're gonna bring in some vanilla extract and we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna just use my lid. One, two, perfect. And you could even do a maple extract if you really want those like apple maple flavors to shine through. But I'm just gonna finish this off with some ground cinnamon. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I did grease my crock pot, so keep that in mind. And we're just sprinkling, you know, as much ground cinnamon as we like. You could add some nutmeg, you can add some allspice, you can even add some pumpkin spice if you wanna make like a pumpkin breakfast. Do you. So many alternatives to this delicious meal. I have my spatula here and we're gonna go ahead and start mixing everything together. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely the aroma incredible. Is outrageous. <laughs> you know it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just gotta make sure we get all that cinnamon blended in there, those apples nice and coated in the applesauce. Ooh, I cannot wait for this super easy and delicious breakfast. So with this one, it's kind of different than your standard crock pot dish. We're gonna go ahead and grab our lid and I'll explain. We're gonna put the lid on and if you are making this the night before breakfast, you're gonna pop it on warm and you're gonna leave it on warm for eight hours so that it's ready in the morning. But for us, it's already morning, so I want this cooked as fast as possible. So I'm gonna put it on high for one to two hours and then it's gonna be ready to eat. I'm so excited. All right, it's been two hours on high. Let's go ahead and pop this on warm because we wanna keep it warm for our breakfast eaters and let's check it out. Ooh, oh my goodness. Now a little trick, if you feel like your oatmeal is too dry, you can add a little bit more milk to it, but I think I kind of like it a little bit thicker like this, so I'm gonna keep it, but you know, you guys do you. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. The aroma is amazing, the apple and the cinnamon. Oh yeah, this is gonna be incredible. Oh, those oats are fully cooked. What do you think? Do you think it needs more milk or do you think it's good as is? I think it looks good, babe. Okay. Breakfast is served. This is so great for back to school, for Sunday brunch, whatever you wanna make it for, go for it. And I'm adding it right into my bowl. And then I wanna add a little bit of crunch to it. So I have some pecan pieces, pecan pieces that we're just going to sprinkle right on top. You guys know I love pecans. That looks good. I believe it's pecans. <laughs> whatever you say, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try this. It smells really good, you guys. Oh, I love a sweet breakfast. Mm. Mm. Honestly, put a little maple syrup on there as well. That's perfect breakfast.